Hi, this is everyone. Uh, pretty sure the audio is back now. There was some mis error with the previous live. It was an error with the computer. It's fine. So here we go again. You guys know the topic. It's Rubik's cubing, right? Yeah. So for the new users, let's do it again. No, it's fine. It's Rubik's cubing. Just pick up the sheet that was Rubik's cubing. Uh, this was not the sheet. Uh, this was also not the sheet. Yes, yes this, this was, was the, sheet. the sheet. So, as you know, today we had the topic Rubik's, Rubik's cube. So, let's start. So, the first question is for him. Yes. So, as you know, my brother is a speed cuber. Yes. Okay, I can solve it too. <laughs> <laughs> so let us hear his story of amazingness and motivational of his journey to speed cubing. So let's start. So it was COVID-19. It was 2020 summer vacation. I was just recording videos for you guys. Amazing videos, right? Yeah. So I was like, there is something missing in my heart. There, uh, there is a skill that I'm missing. So I went up to my dad, asked him, do you have any skill for me? Yes, I do, he said, and he handed him this cube. Now, All shuffled up. Now I'm like, what in the world is this? I've never seen it before. I've only seen like some people solve it. I didn't know what it was. So then my dad was like, let me show you. And he solved it in that a twist. Which so it, I was astonished. I was like, how, how, how? So then what happened was he taught me the method. I learned it. I got better at it. I started off at five minutes, learned finger tricks, did everything, went down to three minutes. But then I got so stuck in trying to get a better technique that I forgot to practice consistently at three minutes. So then... I didn't go down like in time. I went up. I went from three minutes to five minutes to seven minutes. And now I'm like, I'm back where I started. So I decided to do something new. I decided to practice consistently because that wasn't what I was doing before. So I practiced consistently. I did a lot of things. I, uh, I did two solves a day, three solves a day, four solves a day, five solves a day, and maybe even sometimes 25. Yeah. I'm so consistent. And then I'm like, okay, I'm back at one and a half minute. Shouldn't I learn a new technique now? And that's where I started to. Yeah. You'll hear her story later. So she started at one, when I was at one minute 30. So I, I learned a new method. I learned new finger tricks. I learned everything new. And then what happened was, I went 45 seconds. Amazing, right? Yeah. One we minute 30. So yeah, so we went from one minute 30 to 45 seconds. Now it's just another night. I am on my bed with my timer, with a Rubik's Cube. I'm like, let's do a few solves before sleeping. So I start the timer, I look at the cube, and I start solving. And boom! 30 seconds, that's all it took. So that was when I took a gap year. You guys might know what, you might, guys might not know what a gap year means. It means just like a year where you didn't do anything. I was taking this thing to parties, birthday parties, play dates, to impress my friends. But six months ago, one year ago, I left it. I totally left it, didn't take it to anywhere, forgot all about it. Now, here's the time where I started shining. Six months ago, I restarted my journey. I was shocked that I went back to one minute. One minute. One minute. 50 from, seconds. Yeah. From 30 seconds to one minute. I'm shocked. So then I learned all the methods again. But then I figured... Okay, now I'm back at 30 seconds. I need to do something better to get faster. So I had two options. Either do CFOP 
the expert way or the beginner way. So I learned CFOP. It's cross F2L OLL PLL. F2L stands for first two layers. OLL stands for orientation of last layer and PLL stands for permutation of last layer. So I started learning it. The expert had 150 algorithms and the beginner had just 20. So I decided to go with the beginner. I have a question. If you pick expert, how much time will you take? And the beginner, how much time did you take? So for the beginner, it took me one to three weeks. And for the expert, it would take you around like one to two months. What? So oh. this was the point in the journey where it's fifth grade, I'm doing lessons, and my teacher asked me, wow, you can solve the Rubik's Cube? From can you this? teach me? So I'm like, sure, I'll teach you. So I taught her the very beginner method because it wasn't just muscle memory. It was still like adapting. So I taught her in just three weeks, she learned it. I'm not saying three total weeks, two days per week. So only six days she took, only one week she took to learn the whole Rubik's Cube. What? Yes. You have never told me this story. <laughs> yes, because it was a long story. Then what happened was, okay, now let's get faster. I got consistent. I did every day a few solves. And now my best score is 24 seconds from five minutes to 24 seconds. Such a transformation, right? Yes, and that's why, because practice makes perfection. Okay, Jivika? And so does patience. Yes. So now I have a question for you. Oh, I'm so ready for some questions. Yes. So your, my question for you is, what are the benefits of Rubik's Cube? And second is, what are the benefits of learning skills? Ooh. So I'm going to start with the first question. And in the first question, I'm also going to be telling you a story about myself. So it's pretty impressive and shocking. And I like well. Yes, I know the story. I know the story. Let's sit down and give her the stage. <laughs> so number one is it improves our memory. Now, how does it improve our memory? But the reason is, it improves our memory by helping us to memorize the algorithms. If we don't memorize the algorithms, then how are we going to solve the cube? Am I right? So, that's number one. Number two, it improves our patience. Now, this doesn't make sense. Am I right? Yeah. So the reason is because when you're solving this cube in my life, how am I going to solve this? When I started, I was like, how am I going to solve it? I can't do this stuff. I was losing my patience. Yes, it's true. She went crazy when she started. I was losing my patience absolutely so much. And then I found out that it's not about just solving the cube. We have you, we have to keep our patience of solving the cube, learning how to solve the cube, and how, when you're going to solve the cube. So we always have to have patience. And number three, this is my second story in here, is speed. <laughs> it improves our speed. Yes, this so is true. a funny story I was talking about. Yeah. I know this story. It's very funny. When it happened in front of my eyes, I was shocked. He was there. <laughs> exactly, that exact thing happened. He almost hit his head. Yeah. Okay, continue with the story. <laughs> Come here again. So, another thing that when it's starting out, I'm in it. I'm solving the cube. I'm losing my patience, just as I told you. And then, four minutes. I'm keeping my patience. And now I'm going down, down, down. down. For five minutes, right now I'm at one minute, 15 seconds. Do the beginner method. Beginner method. He's like, if the method is not going to take me below one minute, 30 seconds. But he was, <laughs> I can't take you. 
because of me. <laughs> yes. So, I'm solving the cube every day since I want to keep the habit of solving the cube. I'm solving this cube every day. And one day, I'm solving the cube and this gun pawn. Guess what? <laughs> I'm solving the cube. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. And I do it in 40 seconds. 4.29. I might be wondering 4.29. But those days, my timing was like uh, two minutes, above two minutes. Yeah. And now I'm like, wow, finally I came below my record. But then the next day I'm solving the cube. Now you're still wondering why am I saying 0.29? <laughs> solving the cube another day. Solving the cube. Three, two, one, go. I'm solving it. And I do perfect one second. One minute, 42.29 seconds. Here, the previous day was one minute, 43.29. And today was, the the next day was? 1.42. Yes. Perfect one second. Perfect one second. Me and my brother like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That happened to us. Yeah. So, yeah. And now the second question is how does it improve what's your the skills? the benefits yeah. of skills? Yeah. So, number one, it's just play cubing. Memory. Yeah. And absolutely. patience. So, memory and patience, you must be wondering. Yes, it's the same because when using skills like cubing, singing, playing the drums, P playing the piano, everything, dancing, every hobby. We have to memorize things. Let's say for cubing, we have to memorize uh, Algorithm. algorithms. For dancing, we have to memorize steps. For singing, we have to memorize lyrics. For drums, we have to memorize drum notes. And for yeah. piano, we have to memorize piano notes. And for football, let's say, we have to memorize the players and everything where to kick the ball where to shoot where to do what where what's the score what's the player what's the, the, the tackle what's okay the yeah, yeah yeah whatever yeah. so that's one and number two is patience just like i told you for robots cubing it's like we have to have patience of solving the cube now let's say for singing we have to have patience to learn for piano we have to have patience to get it right yes for everything, we have to have patience for our teaching, our solving, our things that we do for that thing. Yes. We always have to have patience for everything we do. Because it takes time. Yeah. And memory. Yeah. So, guys, for you all, we're going to do a quick solve. And, guys, if you want to know how to solve the cube, you can just check our description below. And you can watch the video there because it will include how to solve the beginner method, not the method I'm using, but the beginner method by him. After, yeah, like it's been too. <laughs> <laughs> he looks okay. so young. <laughs> so scramble the cube. This is hand scrambling, this not is mine. Yeah, sure. Okay. This is called hand scrambling rather than using algorithm. I'm scrambling it using my hand. I know that might sound weird. Why is it yeah. called hand scrambling? Okay. okay. Uh, I think it's my correct. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. CS timer. Perfect. CS timer. That's the application we use. If uh, you guys want to see. See, uh, you guys can see a uh, solving. Maybe a cube aside. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. It's funny. Funny, funny, funny. Wait, wait, wait. I have to on this. I have to read this. Yeah, it has all the functions. You can even customize it. I like the red. Wait, and I like the black and white. I'm going to add myself the inspection time. Yeah. Okay. Even I'll add. Okay. So Just say. we're gonna have some inspection time. Okay, inspection. Ooh. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. 
Go. Go. Okay, I'll inspect the cube. Nice. Okay, I'm ready to start. I can start whenever. Okay. Two, so, whoa. Two, one, wait, stop. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Please? you can start. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it won't matter. Okay. I'll get a kick start. No, actually, the time only depends on... You have to solve it three times, okay? Okay, sure. And I'm gonna solve. When you solve the three... Without doing three times, you won't win. Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. Actually, I don't care. Then I'm gonna go fast. Okay, sure. You can go as much as fast as you want. But you're not scaring me. Okay, next scramble. You even have to take time for the scrambling. I know. Hey, you did it! Oh, sorry, start. sorry, sorry. I you, that doesn't come. I shuffled it again. I shuffled it again. Let's do this. What do you mean it doesn't count? Should I say solve of the up and down? I can't because I'm only doing one solve. Oh, come on. <laughs> I am wicked. <laughs> I'm almost done with mine. You are done with this and all. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, second solve that. I'm not stopping yours. It was just went to sleep. Okay, I don't care. Inspection time, let's go. I don't literally care <laughs> because I can. I, I've learned such a way. Yeah, no! <laughs> Actually, technically, I win because you. No, but I still win because you have to do it three times. Since you are using the C4. No, but you got a bit as fast as cube. I got a slow cube. No, that is one of the fastest cubes in the world. It's the newest. Second. Second. So don't you dare tell me I'm cheating. I'm just solving the Rubik's Cube three times and you just solved it once. But I still win. Okay, guys. So... Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a better cuber, just so you guys no, know. No, no, get out. Get out. Get out. I want to tell them something important. Okay, sure. You are not allowed to know. Okay. Out. Okay. I won't know it. Okay. Bye. So, the thing that I want to tell you guys is, if you have anything that you want to do, post them out. Please put it in the description. Chat below. Comments. Comments and comments. Wait. Some answers. Anybody want? Hey, give us, right. Anybody want give us some for tomorrow? You can just tell us in the description below. In it's the good. comment. In the comment. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait! I just wanna. So, guys, I'm still waiting for you guys to give me some. Yeah. Comments. You can comment any subject that you want us to do. Yeah. Mm. Subject. <laughs> yeah. Any subject. For tomorrow. Yeah. And if you guys want to know what subject, you can watch tomorrow's afternoon video. If we don't get any subjects in the next one minute, we won't take any till tomorrow. Bye. Oh, not. We will. Not until <laughs> we might just take one of our own if you don't give us one. Yes. We have a whole dashboard of beers with uh, like put on sheets and shuffled in a fishbowl. So it's actually up to you if you guys want to give us a topic in the comments. So if you guys want to give a... Oh, I just found out. Light chat is not possible. <laughs> so we are gonna just upload another video over there with just some music over there you can just put what you want you just check it afterwards and if you guys want you can just put it as a video tag your insta or email us yeah it's yeah. fine 
So you just have to uh, like tag your Insta or do like JJ Fun Time hashtag JJ Fun Time and put your video. We'll check for any uh, ha like subjects because we can't comment here. Okay. Yeah, so put oh. hashtag JJ Fun Time on any platform if you guys want to give us any topic. Insta, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, um, YouTube, anywhere. If you guys want to give us a topic, just remember hashtag JJ Fun Time. Or we might just upload a video with just music for it to be easier for you guys. Okay, bye. See you next time. Yes. Like, subscribe, and share.